What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at the AC Milan epic pack that they did release. So we've got big time Maldini, big boy Maldini, we've got Pirlo and we've got epic Donna Donna. Donna Doni, Donna Donny. I call him Donna Doni, Donna Donny. So uh, Donatelli, Donatello, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. But anyway, look, we have AC Milan, we've got three new players. Obviously we've had, you know, these before um, with Pirlo and stuff. But Pirlo is a fantastic player, lads, an absolutely fantastic player. He goes to 100 overall as a CMF if you train him up, um, you know, in a, in a distinct way. Maldini as well is a top-class player, I would say. Um, and this guy, Donadoni, he's not a bad player as a right winger. I mean, he does have a couple of empty calories as a right winger with the 94 overall. But let's crack into it. There's 150 players to spin. Whether or not I spin for this, I don't think I will. Simply I don't know. I'd love Maldini because he's probably my best center back that I've had since launch. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think because Maldini, if you don't have him, he is probably one of the best center backs in the game, but I already have him. So I'm kind of lucky enough to be able to review him um, having played about two, two, three hundred games with him. So we are going to start with Donadoni just to kind of get you guys up to date with this guy. He's a good player, right? He's got unwavering form. The real strength to this card compared to other wingers, lads, is the fact that he has got bags of player skills, like really good player skills for a winger. He doesn't have blister and pace, but you can train that up as you will see here in a second, right? So he does go to a 94, but we're going to train him in a slightly different way in a second. We'll give you two options per player, right? So if you want a dedicated training guide for these three players, let me know as well, and I can do that very shortly and sweetly. But for this guy, we are going to be taking a look at his player skills. Double touch. He's also got scotch move, which is very unique uh, for this card. Soul control. Then he's got one touch pass, true pass, and pinpoint cross and an outside curler. He also has trickster, amazing run, and incisive run. Now, the thing I like about this card for a winger is that he can play the H formation, which is AMF, left wing, right wing, left mid, right mid, right? So I love that kind of like... Um, utility man that can play anywhere because what you can do is you can have him starting as a left mid you know with your um you know main formation and then you can switch him to a right wing with a sub tactic so what i, I do that a lot of the time if i'm being man marked if people in the top divisions man mark you you can pull them all over the play all over the pitch with that i will do a video on that as well uh, for newcomers but yeah his shooting stats are insane he does train up quite high as well as you see here over on efootballdb.com we have got him trained up here with 31 levels. And as you can see, you can train him up multiple ways. This is the 94 rated version of him. He does go up to a 93 on the left or right mid uh, because he doesn't have any track back or anything like that. He is all about kind of like, you know, being a wing wizard. 94 dribbling. I don't really like the balance. For a small player, his balance and offensive awareness are quite poor for a winger. Um, you know, most of the wingers have poor enough uh, offensive awareness, but they've got good balance because it usually tracks well with acceleration, but even pumping 10 into dexterity here, we don't crack 80 offensive awareness, which is a small bit of an issue for how I play, because when I get the ball, I want my forward players to be offensively aware and pushing forward, rushing forward um, as best as they possibly can. His stamina is also a bit of a concern if you're going to be playing him left or right mid, but as I said, let me know what you want if you do want a dedicated training guide, because there is a few different ways to train him. We've pumped up a few into shooting here and passing. I probably would completely ignore that, and I would probably pump the rest into dexterity to get it up to 93 acceleration. You still get a 94 overall version of him, but you've got a little bit more um, kind of, you know, that you can mess around with. You could also pop one more into uh, lower body strength if you wanted to get 84 speed and stamina, but he doesn't go to 94. So yeah, I think if you're cutting in with this guy, you don't really need finishing um, uh, stats with him or attributes with him because of the player skills that he has, right? Moving on, we do have the main man himself, Pirlo, Andrea Pirlo. What a player this guy is. He goes to 100 overall as a center midfielder. He is down as an orchestrator. So there was another version of Pirlo, I think, uh, or am I thinking right? No, I think all the versions of Pirlo have been orchestrator. I thought there was an anchorman version of him, but I'm probably mixing him up with another player. Look, you know what you're getting with Pirlo, lads. Without even training him up, you have got one of the best passing center mids in the game here. Like, look at those stats without even training up, including free kicks. Probably the best free kick taker in the game, apart from Beckham, I would say. So if you don't have Beckham, if you don't have Ward Pros, if you don't have one of those guys, this guy has got everything, right? And as a center mid, yes, you can play him as a DMF, but I think Pirlo really operates the best when you play him as a CMF dictating the play. Kind of like Kevin De Bruyne, you don't have to push him up that advanced, 
because you're not going to be shooting that many shots at him. But it's all about bringing others into the play, right? With an orchestrator, slowing the game down, hitting those killer passes, and look at the player skills that he has. Double touch, soul control, one touch pass, true pass, and weighted pass, no look pass, and low lofted pass. So if you're using a player with low lofted pass, you need to be using stunning passes, stunning crosses, switches, you know, quickening up the pace, then sitting on the ball, right? I also love that he has got tight possession in the 80s straight off the rip. So we can kind of train him in a very unique way, depending on how we want to actually play him in our squad. So if you do want a dedicated training guide on Pirlo, let me know because it is an interesting one to look at, right? But failing that, we do have a brief version of him here with a bit of a review and we are going to focus on his defense in this one, right? So this gets him up to a 96 overall, but I think that you can even go one better than this because if you are going to be playing him as a CMF, you want to have that dribbling up a little bit. So even if you max out his 12 defending there, you're only going to get 77 tackling. And because we're going to have an anchor man behind him or a destroyer behind him, I think just capping his tackling at maybe 70 is probably enough. You still want him to be kind of defensively aware. You do want to have his defensive awareness more than his offensive awareness because you're not going to be running forward with him as much as possible. Um, but we could pop in another few to get his acceleration up to 80. I mean, a Pirlo card with this stat is insane. I mean, absolutely insane stats from Pirlo here. You've got passing. You've got lofted pass. Absolutely brilliant. You've got your dribbling. You've got your ball control. I personally, because of how I'm going to play him, I do want my ball control at a 90. That's where I want his ball control to be. Passing is perfect at 93 and 96, but I would probably, you know, I would probably try and get up, um, I would probably try and get up his passing as high as possible, because that's, look, that's where you're going to be playing him, man, you're going to be playing him in that center midfielder role, you're not going to be focused too much on DMF, even if you are focused on DMF, you can still kind of train him in a way that, he goes to, I think it's like 100, 101 overall. You can see down here in the bottom of the screen, because he's not, he's in as a DMF, he's not going to like have the ranking, the rating on his card of 101, but in game he will. And then obviously you get the boost with that as well. You've got everything that you could possibly want in this card. And I think that this version of him is insane. Now, I think the pass in here is probably overkill because you won't get the boost. So you could throw that in. I also think if you're playing him as a center mid, you don't need aerial strength. The reason why we don't need aerial strength is because we're not going to be like rushing people off the ball or anything like that. So you've got a lot of stats that you can mess around with here, you know, that we can pump in dribbling. We can put the dribbling up to 90. We can put the ball control up to 94 and a tight possession 95 this is an insane card one of the best orchestrators in the game you still have your 80 acceleration you've got your 90 balance and your 95 stamina that is a ridiculous card an absolutely insane card you could even pump three into shooting and have and have 80 finishing on this card so yeah i think he's probably one of the best center midfielders that they've ever released if you just look at those stats and he's mobile enough and he's got his player skills that are more than enough to get up and down the pitch. But we will do a dedicated training guide on him because he's definitely one of the most unique players that they have released yet. And then last but not least, we do have big time Maldini. The best to last, lads. This is a fairly in-depth one. I usually do it a bit quicker, but there's a lot to talk about in this. Not only can you add additional skills to Maldini to make him even more dominant on what he's lacking in his player skills, you know, such as one-touch pass if you want to have him as a bit ball playing, and you also could add heading if you get that, if you want him to be like early, just kind of dominant and absolutely monstrosity in the air. But he has everything that you could possibly want here. Blocker, interception, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, man marking and interception. And you also, on top of that, you could put heading up there as well uh, if you wanted to do that, which is always nice to have, right? When we actually look to train him up, He's got 27 levels to go, which is very decent, right, for a player with this potential. Now, I do, I do, I do have, um, I do have this version of Maldini, this one here that they released way back when. Um, it was the first legend that they released when the game launched. He's very similar to that if you look at the hover over uh, style here. But this guy only had 10 levels to go, and this guy only had 15 levels to go. And this card was better attacking and on the ball. But this version of him, the big time, is 27 levels to go. It's nearly double the levels to go, lads. And he's better in pretty much every, you know, every um, every area, apart from that defensive engagement is going to be maxed out at 99 with this. So if we are training him up, I'm just going to bring this to 98 um, to get that up as high as we possibly can, especially the aggression. And then on top of that, you've got your aerial strength, which can go to 90, can go to 90 jump, 
with 87 physical contact and you're still going to be able to get 75 acceleration with 80 speed now if you don't want to go that defensive with him i mean you've got your 98 rated version of him there i will do a training guide on him as well but if you don't want to go that defensive with him and you want to make him a little bit more of a, a kind of a complete center back you could upgrade the dribbling a little bit just a fraction right 85 aggression is more than enough for maldini with the boost you're going to be getting to everything else if you are a good defender if you manually defend a lot 90 awareness 90 tackling and 96 engagement is more than enough with the 90 jump right 90 jump is probably a little bit overkill as well personally speaking i would probably put that at 88 that frees up a lot of, of a lot of points that you can actually either pop in to have him an 80 acceleration center back which is insane for a player this tall this mobile is going to be ridiculously overpowered or else you can leave that at 75 and you can pop up the dribbling to get it up to about 80 tight possession 80 and then the passing you can pop up as well to have 77 now this would be a ball playing center back kind of a sweeper role but i do think maxing out the defensive capabilities is where you need to go with him so that is it for me lads let me know what you think let me know if you're going to spin or skip it's a huge pack pirlo maldini are definitely end game level players if you don't have maldini or pirlo yet i mean i think pirlo is probably one of the best orchestrators in the game and i will be doing a video on the importance of an orchestrator because i've been using a lot of kevin de bruyne and them type of different players creative playmakers and orchestrators instead of box to box and anchormen and destroyers it's kind of a different experience but yeah i think they've kind of nerfed that uh, play style so that is it for me don't forget to subscribe lads and i will be back soon hope you enjoyed it if you did uh catch me later peace <laughs>